Welcome back. We have quite the tray here to start. Looks like my opponent is going to grab the kill deer, but we have access to the pie bill grebe. So round one is birds with tough cards. We got cavity nests, birds with no eggs, and cards in hand. So I think we're gonna go with the bush tit. Do broadwing hawk for our forest bird. We're gonna grab the grebe out of the tray. Could go with great crested grebe. Breeding manager. So the pie build and the bush tit both qualify. That's two points. But diet specialist, I think we can get two birds worth three food. So the bird feeder has a fish. So I think we're going to roll with this. We're going to try to create a snowball effect here in the first round and just draw so many cards, generate so much card advantage that the kill deer is going to have a hard time matching that. But hopefully we can... We're in a strong position here to have a strong round one and generate more momentum because they can't play the kill deer until round two due to the house rules of the tournament discord, so... We have quite the challenge cut out for us. So they did grab the kill deer. I'm going to grab the pie bill grebe. I really like that morning dove too for the forest. Bewix ran is garbage. Wonder if they grab the morning dove. Wonder if I don't grab the morning dove. So they left it. Painted white start. So that is a bird that gains worms. So they've got a good forest start. So I'm going to throw down. I'm going to click on my board here. Let's play the grebe. But I need that food for my bush tit. Let's actually grab the fish here. Then we'll play the grebe, we'll lay eggs on the grebe, play our bush tit, and we'll start drawing cards. We'll get a tuck under the bush tit for the round goal, and just start drawing a bunch of cards and hopefully we see a lot of great options. So they've gained food, they have a worm and a wheat. Another thing too, me holding this rat, it might scare them into thinking I have a raven. So I can keep that in my back pocket for the time being. I don't necessarily need to play that right now. Maybe we can find a better food generating bird here once we start drawing cards. So we're gonna burn our next two activations. Laying eggs, playing the bush tit. So they gain food again. Must have some three point bird that they want to play here. They haven't laid eggs yet, so they're not planning on playing a second forest bird, I don't think, at this moment. So let's lay our eggs. I like that turtle dove, but. It's a platform nest. So this round three grow birds with no eggs, it's going to work against any type of grasslands engine our opponent develops, so hopefully we can win that one. Cedar Waxwing. That's going to pair nicely with their kill deer in round two. They can tuck extra cards for extra cherries. So we definitely don't want to see that. They're really starting to show that they're going to build a very strong Grasslands engine. So what do we do in response? If we keep getting strong tucking birds to go in this wetlands, 
maybe we can hang with them, but I'm not really sure how that's going to pan out. They're going to be getting eggs and food and points from their grasslands, so they laid eggs. So they could be playing second tucking bird in their grasslands, that would suck. They could be prepping for the kill there in round two. So we're just going to draw cards. King rail doesn't really help us. Pelican doesn't help us. I can't get a tuck under it. We'll tuck that. Need this Grieve to save us, that's not a help. Ruddy Duck. Don't need more of the same. So let's tuck the Inca Dove. So that was a pretty bad draw. We really needed a good resource generating bird or another tucking bird to help us score points and draw more cards there. We got two activations left in the round. We're leading on the round goal. No, we're tied. What'd they do? Oh, they got the Cedar Waxwing, of course. So there's a bonus card bird. Developing their forest. Normally this empty wetlands would show that they have a crippled card draw ability, and it would normally be a good position for us, but they've got that kill deer in their back pocket. So we need to just draw cards again. Stellar's Jade, not really that great. Northern Bob White. Not that great. How do these line up with the wrong goals? Not sure I care about the Bob White here. We do have Diet Specialist. Come on, Grebe. Maybe? There we go. So, let's get rid of the Ruddy Duck. Now the question is, do we do we focus on the wetlands or do we focus on the grasslands? Grassland tucking engines are the superior end game engine in my opinion, but this round three goal is going to work against that. We could set up a very strong foundation in the grasslands here with Grasshopper Sparrow and Purple Martin. So I think my dilemma here is whether do I focus on building out my wetlands further or switching over to grasslands. But at this point we need food. So I have the rat. And by now, they must be thinking that I have a raven here. If I play my hawk, could get rid of an excess card for extra food. We didn't get a good food generating bird, so I think we'll just do that. So now we show that we don't, in fact, have the raven. Luckily, they didn't get another tucking card, or another tuck under the bird. So we get the raven from the round two tray. Holy cow. Crazy turn of events here. Dang, if only I hadn't spent that rat. There's no way to know though. Tuck the woodpecker. See what other great cards we get. We needed that in round one. Moltonis? I don't think this is gonna be a Moltonis game. So now we are going to play that Martin in the Grasslands. We just need to get the food for the Raven here. That's going to take us two activations. We'll play that Martin. We might even play the Grasshopper Sparrow. Now the King Rail is really on the table with the Raven in play. There's Killdeer. So what's their nest capacity look like? They've got a couple turns here, they can lay some eggs, the kill deer will let them draw cards. They'll tuck junk cards under their cedar waxwing for cherries. So they've got good 
food and card generation and egg generation here. So we need to get this raven down as soon as possible. So let's take the worm. I'm going to discard the gnat catcher here. Because if we do end up playing the Stellar's Jay, we're going to be doing it for Diet Specialists. So it's a good point bomb. Martin is good for Cavity Nest for the round goal. We need a rat. Got it. No cash on the hawk. So we're going to have to gain food again here. Then we'll get the raven down, and that'll solve our food problems. We'll gain a worm. Get the martin down. Get a worm and a wheat. Doesn't matter necessarily for the sparrow. And we're just going to try to out grasslands our opponent who is showing a strong grasslands. So they laid their eggs, they drew cards, tucked one under the wax wing, and got a cherry. This could be indigo bunting. Don't like the look of that. So we need to gain food again. Let's take the worm. That really is an inefficient action. But we just don't have any any choice. We have to do this. We have to get this raven down. We'll lay our eggs. Get two food, then we'll get the Martin and the Grasshopper Sparrow down. And depending on how this round goal goes, they've only got two. And we've already got three. We're going to spend one off the Grebe. So they gained food. They got something specific they want to play. I hope to gosh that ain't a Raven. Because that'll probably be game over. So let's play our Raven. Boy, I really do not want to see a Raven from them here. They'll just have such a stacked grasslands. So I don't know, right now it's not looking like our card drawn round one gave us a huge enough advantage. So there's a Prothonotary Warbler. So they're going for cavity nests here. I think I'd rather see that than a raven, quite frankly. But they still got the rat. They could still play a raven here and lay eggs. But I don't know if they could win the round goal. So let's lay our eggs on the bush tit. Get a worm and a wheat. And we'll look to play our Martin. And then maybe we'll just lay eggs to secure the round goal. We'll hold off on the grasshopper sparrow. And then we just need the food for Stellar's Jay and King Rail. I think we'll actually play, we'll draw cards before we start dropping these bombs because maybe we'll get something better. So they laid eggs. They got two activations left. They'll have four, five, six. We can have five, six, seven, eight. So we should win the round goal. I need a card to tuck though under the Martin, so it's probably going to be this Stellar's J. Because we want to save the King Rail for the bonus card. So they laid eggs. They filled up their cavity nests. They've got six. And we have... Seven can't use the raven here. 
Otherwise, we won't win the round goal. So, let's see. Don't want any of them. House Finch, top deck skills. So, to win this round goal, we can't use the Raven. We could tie it. What does that do for us? We'd be getting five, they'd be getting two. If we tie, we'll both be getting four. I think this is going to be a tight game. Do I spend the egg for the food for the house finch, then play the house finch? And that'll just give me one more tuck draw. That only gets me one more point. So I think I'm going to skip the Raven here, because I'll end up getting more points by the end of the game by winning this round goal. So they spent an egg, I think. How did they spend an egg? Oh, they spent an egg on the kill there. They knew they couldn't win the round goal, so they just spent it. So I don't think they have a raven. So they laid eggs again, so they're digging for cards. So that's a good sign. I'd rather they just keep doing that instead of dropping bombs or more engine building cards. So there's a trumpeter swan in the tray. I think I'm going to get rid of the grasshopper sparrow in order to get that swan. Birds with no eggs. So that's kind of counter. We might end up just ignoring that. Get the trumpeter swan. Let's uh, clear out our bush tit here. And we'll get the cherry and the worm. Or do we want to play? I think we will go with the king rail first before the swan. And that will get us to three birds with three food costs. Four birds. Nope, three. So there we'll get, get the worm for the king rail. So they did go for the red-headed woodpecker. I don't know that I mind that too much. They do get wheat. They can keep it or cash it. So that's more potential food gain. And there is two wheat in the bird feeder right now. So I need to play this house finch. Gained food here. So they must have some big predator bird coming with these two rats. I'd rather they take the gain food action than lay eggs here. They're probably concerned about their nest capacity. That's what they're looking to build out. So I need to draw cards here. That could be a good bomb. need one card to tuck under the house finch and the martin. Keep that one card to cycle. So I think I will tuck the falcon here. And I'm of course drawing two more cards off the greed. So I wonder if the blackbird that consumes cards though. That's got a good nest. Bullfinch has a good nest. I think we'll get rid of the nuthatch, tuck more cards, get more food, and then play the trumpeter swan. Little bustard, bonus card bird, I'd rather see that than another engine bird here to back up this kill deer. So they are looking to burn up as many eggs as they can in order to win this round goal. I don't necessarily 
feel bad about that. I'm kind of going to ignore it. And this might be my opportunity to overwhelm this Killdeer's ability to score points. So I am going to... Lay these eggs here, like so. We'll tuck. I think we're going to tuck the Blackbird because we're going to be short on cards. And this Bullfinch might be useful for its nest. Spoonbill is a good bomb. Well, we're going to tuck the Bullfinch now because we might want to keep that Spoonbill. Don't need that. <laughs> Discard an egg and we'll get a fish and a wheat. I wonder if we don't play the roseate spoonbill here because I think we're going to be good on nest capacity and a spoonbill is just better than the king rail in all regards except its nest. We've got plenty of nest space left. I don't think we're going to fill up before we can play the swan, and then maybe we can squeeze out the rail at the end. So they did lay eggs here. They didn't get a cash on the woodpecker. Maybe they took that wheat there. So they're probably going to play... If they play a double play here, they can burn up three eggs. And they're just going ham on this round goal. That might be what these two rats are. They don't have a worm though. That would suck to see like a tufted titmouse spotted owl here. That's just a good point bomb and they win the round goal handily. If I just keep laying eggs here, I mean, I'm gonna lose this round goal. I could just keep cycling cards to see if any other better options come up. Maybe I get a, another good tucking bird for the grasslands, but we're really coming to the point in the game where we need to start dropping bombs and stop worrying about engines. So I think I'm actually just going to see what more cards we get. Don't care about that. Red Knot is a good bomb. It's actually even better than the Roseate Spoonbill, because then that gives us cards, replaces itself. So let's get two worms here for the Knot. So they dropped a bomb of their own, Wood Stork, in the wetlands. Another bonus card bird. I definitely don't want to see that. But we will retaliate with our own red knot. Come on. Ah, that is a whiff. That could have cost us the game right there. That is good, but it might be too late. That could help us. It is getting kind of late, but that will shave a point off their tucking engine. And it's a good five point body. I'm going to keep the snow bunting. So they're killing us on these round goals. We have five turns left. Cards in hand. I think they're going to win that wrong goal as well with this kill deer. Although they will... How many do they have? They have three. They'll be able to manipulate their kill deer in order to win this. So let's lay eggs. Let's actually spread our eggs around in case we get Oologist somehow. can't get all of these down, so let's get rid of the king rail. 
definitely be able to get one more bird down for diet specialist. I think the snow bunting is going to get us a bunch more points. So let's actually deny the woodcock here. So let's see. We could get eight guaranteed points off this in the forest. And we'd get, in the wetlands, we'd lose two points here for eggs, so that'd be four. And we would need a big bonus card to score us more points than the woodcock. So let's actually tuck the spoonbill. Woodcock is still a three-point bird. And Prairie Manager is just a letdown. So let's get the food for the snow bunting and that will cancel out our opponent's wax wing and give us another card cycle and that's really realistically only going to get us what three more points off cycles Honestly, is the swan. Dropping these bombs is going to be more points than getting the snow bunting down. So let's actually... Let's think about our food spread here. So we need two wheat, three wheat, two worms, and one other. We have the one other in the fish. So we need a wheat and a worm off the raven. Tuck the crossbill. Tuck the snow bunting. Wonder if that downy woodpecker. I don't have the food for it though. Not sure if that was a mistake. Passing on that downy woodpecker, I didn't really see it. So we need. Worm, we can play the woodcock and the wheat for the swan. So then we can do swan woodcock here. We'll max out diet specialist and they're going to win the round goal. I think they're just going to beat us on. They've been controlling round goals. We've got big point birds though, so they decided to play fish crow here. I wonder if they have Fishery Manager for a bonus card. They've got three bonus cards, which is scary. They've got three activations left. So let's play the Woodcock. Clean eight point play. And we're going to lose this round goal by a mile. They don't have big point... Well, they got a couple big point birds here. Fish grows beefy. They've got four bonus cards, actually. That's really scary. We really need them to whiff. They laid their eggs, as expected. We will play our trumpeter swan. Alright, they laid eggs. Pretty straightforward. We will also lay eggs. And we'll tuck the griffin. Nice five point activation at the end. Skip the raven. 
Yeah, you know, I'm not confident about this game. We needed them to whiff on their bonus cards big time. I mean, they controlled the wrong goals. We tied. We got the second one, but they've got the big chunk of the second half. Really nothing we can do against that kill deer. We need them to whiff on bonus cards big time. So if you like that uh, Power 4 action, Kill Deer vs. Raven, please like and subscribe. Oh no, we lost. They did real well on their bonus cards. And they're going to do better on eggs. And I think they did better on tucking as well. Yeah, 102 to 93. Well, good game to my opponent.